Welcome back. I'm Dr. Martin Gorman. I practice in Encino, California, and we basically in a practice of practice integrative dental medicine. We're working on the four B's, and today we're going to get into the bacteria in the mouth. So we're going to work on bacteria. The first thing we're going to talk about for a minute is called our oral pathogens. There are over 700 identified bacteria in the mouth, the vast majority of which are pathogenic, which are bad bacteria. They cause the tissue to break down, cause tooth decay, cause gum disease. When the tissue and, and tissue and bone break down, you get periodontal disease, loose teeth, more decay, cause dry mouth, and it's just not healthy whatsoever. So what can we do? We can do salivary testing. And what salivary testing is, you rinse your mouth about 20 seconds, spit it out, we send it to the lab, and the lab tells us exactly the, the pathogens that you have, the exact bacteria that are causing your problems. Next, we can we deal with probiotics. Well, the word, you look at that, pro is good, and biotics, so it's good bacteria. And these are just naturally found in our, in our, in our body. And what we do is um, we can, I know most of you have probably heard about probiotics. You can actually get drinks, and, and eat, eat certain foods that are very high in probiotics, and they replenish, can replenish and keep at a good level the good bacteria in your, in your system, especially your gut. Now, an example of the use of probiotics would be, let's say you have an infection, you had a tooth removed, and you put on antibiotics. Well, the antibiotics like erythromycin and the, and the standard penicillins that we use every day, they kill the bad bacteria, but they also kill some of the good bacteria. So what we want to do at that point is actually take a supplement of probiotics to get the replenishment of the good bacteria that have been killed by the antibiotic and get your gut and your stomach and your entire system back where it belongs. Another thing we can do to help with the bacteria is periodontal therapy. Periodontal therapy, I'm sure most of you know, is necessary when there's hard buildup on your teeth or your gum levels. On a normal healthy patient, the numbers when you probe go into the depth of the pocket that you floss into and brush in should be one, two, or three millimeters maximum. If they're, long, if they're larger than that, four, five, six, or more millimeters or more, or they bleed on probing, then you really have a periodontal issue. If you have a lot of gum recession, you have a periodontal issue. What we do is, in periodontal therapy, part of it would be like getting root planing and curatage, which is done with local anesthetic, so you don't have any, any sensation while it's being done. We can give you different rinses. We can give you different antimicrobial that are placed under the tissue that would stay there for about 30 days and really kills the bacteria that's there. The big thing is once you get a certain amount of bacteria and they actually start colonizing in your mouth, on your teeth and gums, it's really bad and it gets into your systemic, into your blood system. And when it gets into your blood system, it circulates through your entire body. This handful of years we're finding oral bacteria bad bacteria, pathogens, all over the body in every organ system. So it's really great for your health to keep the bacteria in your mouth at a very, very low level, keep your hygiene really good, and take the pressure off your immune system. Thank you for listening, and have a great day.